you're watching, despite the title of this video, you might be looking at this and saying, I don't need Canva 101. I use Canva all the time. Why on earth is she going back to basics? Well, a couple of reasons. The first reason was that it was a request. Yay, on my past video, thank you so much, Mechanically Inclined Sprinkler Repair and more for asking, hey, are you ever going to explain the left side rail? Um, and I have before, but platforms like Canva, and here's reason number two why I hope you're watching, um, platforms like Canva and Squarespace and everything else, even your phone, update, obviously. Every time things update, sometimes they move buttons around, they, they shift things around. So it's probably about time to go through the basics of Canva 101. Where is everything at? How do I make a document? If you're a seasoned Canva person, stick around. You might learn something new or you might go, oh, that's where that moved. Even some of my design friends have said, hey, Olivia, didn't the style editor used to be over here or didn't this used to be over here? Probably it was and it moved. So let's go together. And during this process, I'm actually going to create a brand new Canva tip weekly presentation because my other one's way too big. So first up to create a design in general, up here to the right, create a design. This is also where you're going to see, whoops, um, they want you to get an app. There is an app, your settings, your notifications. I get notifications all the time. Um, this is also where you can switch uh, teams. So I have a bunch. I have many clients, <laughs> more account settings, but for now we're going to click create a design. Here you're going to get lots of suggested things. Don't forget that Canva knows the sizes to everything. So Instagram post, Canva already knows it's 1080 by 1080, Instagram story 1080 by 1920, so trust Canva. In this situation I'm going to do a presentation because it's Canva Tip Weekly. Ooh, mobile first presentation, how interesting. Um, they have a 4.3 and a 16.9 presentation. Um, we want 16.9, which is 19.20 by 10.80. A 4.3 is uh, like a really old PowerPoint. So we're gonna do 16.9, that is called a ratio. When Canva loads, you're now going to be in the project. In the project, you're gonna see that your toolbar and everything has changed. This is the main screen of Canva. This is where you can access all of your tools, your projects but let's stay over here just for a second. Over here, you've got home and then templates. Of course, Canva really wants you to use all of their templates. It's a great idea. I love their templates. It's a really easy way to start, but we don't want that right now. I'm gonna click back on home. The biggie is going to be projects. This has changed about a million times in the past year or two that I've used Canva. Projects is now going to be the hub of everything that you have created. So you're gonna click projects to be able to find things. You've heard me say it once, I will say it again, I'll say it a million times, you need to make folders. Make yourself folders. You're gonna see I use a lot of folders. I have Let's Go Studio brand, I have portfolio, my social media items, promotions, uh, membership that I did, presentations, how to use your logo. There's just tons of stuff in here uh, and I keep it very organized. Additionally, when you are in a folder, you're gonna notice here that, oh, this one highlighted. You can star, doop, 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 star a folder for it to go in this left sidebar so that you can always access it really quickly. So obviously I have Let's Go Brand starred because here's all of my brand assets. I've got my stock photos, my videos, sticker shapes, terrazzo, um, brand patterns, icon suite, all of my stuff is in here. So that is projects and your folders. Um, also under projects, you're going to see just all of the general designs you've made, any images that you've uploaded, any videos that you've uploaded. It's kind of a giant junk drawer. So I do recommend making folders. A lot of you rely on your uploads and don't do that. <laughs> Up here, you can also sort your projects by any owner or you can do um, people on your team anytime. So maybe you remember you created a document last year and you can try to find it. Folders, designs, images, videos, right here. You can sort it by newest, oldest. Oh gosh, scares me to think about what my oldest edited is. Um, you can also change this to a list view versus an icon view. Um, and then over here under tools, you've got your brand. This is gonna be where your brand kit is. Um, you can have two. I have Branded Better, which is an old um, membership that I used to have, and then Let's Go Studio. Brand templates I haven't gone over. I plan on it. They're basically templates that when you click on them, they make a new file. And then there's also brand controls where you can restrict access. So those of you with really, really big teams, you can say, hey, I only want um, my team to be able to use my brand colors. They're not allowed to use anymore. Ooh. Same thing with fonts and design approval. 
Um, so my brand kit, we can see Let's Go Studios brand kit here, are all my logos. Notice that they are SVG files so that they can be color editable. Fonts, uploaded fonts, colors. I have a couple of palettes here. Um, so that is the brand controls. Content planner, I don't really use, but it's sort of like a later.com or a Planoly. You can um, add posts here and it'll auto post to the platform of your choice. Discover apps, I don't know. Oof, it's like a lot of stuff. This is for another video for another day. And then smart mockups is another feature of Canva that I don't love. But for now, let's get into here. This is the editor. This is the, um, you're in a project, you're in a design. So first thing I would do is name this. So I'm gonna do Canva tip weekly 2023. Up here you have your sharing controls. If you hit this plus sign, gosh, I say this all the time to my clients, to if someone is on your team, you do have to make sure that the team can see it. So this is my team, Let's Go Studio. To make sure my team, I have to change this eyeball from not shared to can edit or can view. So can edit, boop, and see, now the link sharing restricted changed. You can also change it right here. So that's the sharing settings. You can also look at insights. If you do share this as a template, how many people have viewed it, how many people have done things. Let's actually see how many people use my Valentine's Day template. So I'm actually just gonna search right here. Valentine's, you can search templates or projects, but I'm obviously going to choose templates, um, projects. Uh, and then we're gonna come up here to the little, um, you'll see the same thing, uh, analytics. 84, that's pretty good. So about 70 people used my, or at least looked at my Valentine's Day templates, which I'm pleased by. Yay, thank you for using my template, if that was you guys. <laughs> so to come back over here, um, under a presentation, you can also click present. Now, depending on the template that you're in in Canva, you're gonna get a couple of other options. Oops. For example, if it's a print item, if it's a print item, you're gonna get print, print options. So right here under Let's Go Studio business card, if I click on this, you're gonna notice that, see, now I have a different button. On the presentation, just kidding. On the presentation, I have a present button, but on the business card, I have a print business cards button. And that is because I started from the correct document. I started from Canva's business card file type. So you're gonna get different items there. And then share. This is the biggest menu. I'm constantly in this menu. So first of all, all of this does the same thing as these two icons up here. Boop, boop, boop. So this whole sharing situation. Um, you've got, you can turn this into a brand template, which I will do in a future video. You can present, again, it's the same button, present and record yourself, or give it as a view only link. You can also copy the link. Then you've got a bunch of stuff right here. Download, which is the thing I use the most. Once you click download, okay, it's like your design's empty. Come on, add something to it. Sure, there's a candle. Um, when you click download, you're gonna see, you're gonna get some options. Canva's gonna suggest what the download is based on what the file type is again. So this is a presentation, so it thinks you need a PDF. But you can also share, share as a JPEG, a PNG, PDF print, SVG, MP4 video, and a GIF. Yay, all of, the, all of those things. Um, you can also share on social. This is going to link up to any one of these. You can even schedule it using Canva's scheduler. Again, I use later.com for no reason other than it's what I've used forever and I know how to use it. So there we are. You can also print your design. So this will bypass. This is the same thing of what this print button is. So you can still do it. Um, I guess I could print my whole presentation on a business card if I really wanted. <laughs> but there are a lot of other really cool things you can do here. And then there's just a bunch of stuff you can click around to. I've covered these extras in another video, so I'm not gonna get too much into them, but that is the basics over there. All right, now to cover this. This is the left sidebar, left rail, I guess. Um, the terminology is gonna change. You're gonna notice I have a ton of junk. Look at all of my junk. All of these are just folders that I have clicked on. So you can see when I click on these folders, I can actually exit out of them. Can, I can clear it all out. Let's let's clear all this out. It's gonna stress me out, but here we are. Oh my good heavens. I have so many folders open. Whenever you open a folder or a project, you're gonna see, wow. <laughs> so many. Okay, we did it. We cleaned it up. Um, awesome. Okay, 
If you ever don't see something, then you're just gonna click on apps right here. If you're like, where are my logos? Where, where's my, where's my XYZ? You're gonna click on apps and it will be right here. More from Canva. So you're gonna see, here we go. Here's logos. I'm gonna click on that. Um, elements and design are always going to be here in uploads and I guess text. All of these are always going to be here. So let's go over them. Design, this is going to be where your templates, layouts, and styles are going to be. This is where the style fun guy moved, um, the style editor. I've done so many videos on this and I hate that they tucked it up under here. So again, the style is going to apply a brand style to a page. So I'm gonna do this, you guys can see how this looks. I'm gonna add one more thing because it's very important. That's a moving thing, that's not going to help. Awesome, so now under design, and when I click on styles, this is gonna be where I can apply my Let's Go Studio brand kit. So when I click on brand fonts, you'll see it changed all of these fonts to my brand fonts, and then if I click on 2023 Let's Go Studio, watch this, ta-da, and you can keep clicking to shuffle it. Keep clicking to shuffle. Yay, so there we go, now that's Let's Go Studio. Looks like you can also use the style from recent designs or choose random color palettes or random things, but that is where the style panel moved. Layouts is just for presentations. This gives you all of these so that you don't have to type. This is how I make all of my clients' um, items. So you can click title page, add a heading, this one. Look at that, easy peasy, great. And then of course, templates, if you would like to start from a template for anything, business cards, presentations. And again, I really do love Canvas templates. I think they make it really easy. Like, look how cute that is. Look at that. We're done. Moving on. Next, elements. This is where all of the elements are. <laughs> this is where all of Canva's general elements um, recently used. Your lines and shapes, your graphics, stickers, which are animated, which I used to use heavily before Instagram decided to make everything that moves a real. Photos, photos specifically, um, videos, audio, charts, tables, frames grids, and then a lot of other um, preset stuff. So to quickly go over them, recently used is all the recently used things that you do. Lines and shapes are going to be anything in Canva that um, have special tools, which is to add borders to them. Um, you can also change the shapes here um, and do some corner rounding. So any of these specific lines and shapes can be changed around. So I can even change that to that. Pretty cool. And you can write in them. Awesome. Next up, graphics. Graphics are gonna be anything that's not a photo. So it can be, sometimes they are color editable. If they are formatted correctly, you can change their color. Um, sometimes they're not, it just kind of depends on how it was uploaded. So um, for example, that one, that one is, this one probably, well, oh, no, it is. It's kind of sometimes harder to find one that's not color editable. That, well, nope, that one is too. There's a ton of things that you can use. I've covered graphics in um, lots of other videos, but um, graphics also include gradients, so this is a really cool gradient style. And then magic recommendations means, hey, we noticed you use this thing a lot, here's other things that are like it. And I love magic recommendations, super helpful. So that is all of Canva's graphics. Next up, you've got stickers, which are just moving things. These will probably work great in presentations or Instagram stories, but you can't use them in Instagram posts any longer because it turns it into a reel. Um, next, you've got photos. Um, I'm gonna skip that because there's a whole separate photos panel. I don't know why they overlap. Same thing with videos. They have their own sidebar section. So audio charts, don't forget you can make charts. So I can do a percentage here. I can make it rounded or not rounded and I can change the colors to my brand colors. Uh, you've also got tables. Don't forget you can make tables in Canva. Yay, you can change the file folder and do the title, year, rating there's a lot of stuff you can do there um frames frames are little shapes that you can put objects or photos into so under photos i could drag um this uh oh i know why these are here um this for real that i did you can drag these in and it will make the shapes you can double click to reposition inside as well uh, grids are going to fill up a whole page with photos. So if you like this grid, it's going to fill it up proportionately, which is really helpful. And then 
more. And then everything below here is um, prioritizing packs of things. So semi-realistic organic homelessness. Oh gosh, help. So you, if you're wanting to do a promotion or a nonprofit, here we are. Um, so that is everything under elements. Next up, you've got uploads. Most of mine's like a lot of portfolio stuff right now because um, we're working through my portfolio. If you're still watching, I know. I know a lot of you just use your uploads folder. Mm -mm. You need to be uploading things into fold into actual folders. Not these per se. Most of this is junk for me. But if you're uploading headshots or your portfolio pieces, put them in a folder. What are you guys doing? Um, you can also look at the videos you've uploaded as well as audio you've uploaded, which I've actually done a little bit of both. Next up is text. This is where you can add a heading, subheading, body text, um, font combinations. I almost never use this because I just hit T and then put whatever I want on it. But this is technically where you put, oh, I guess you can click add a text box right here too. Fascinating. Next up is projects. Um, this is how all these folders are going to pop up here. Once you click projects and watch this, when I click let's go brand, ta-da, it has just added that icon in my left sidebar. So that's how mine gets so junky because I add lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things. So here is let's go brand, all folders. Here's all the folders. So if I ever need a terrazzo pattern and see how this changed to terrazzo, I can find it right here. And then there's a big back arrow right here that you click on it and you can navigate all of your projects. So this is where you find all of those folders that you've created. Um, one of my big ones is my headshots that I need to use all the time for things like my... Um, Canva Tip Weekly. So I would click on brand headshots and here are all of my headshots, my 2022 favorites. Oh my goodness. So they're all right here and you can see the icon changed. And then I just click the back arrow to find that again. Amazing. Photos, 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 photos. Definitely watch my video on photos. It's a really big one, but you can access all of Canva's photos right here. That is a gorgeous one. Next up, videos. You can access all of Canva's videos here. If they're all terrible, Canva, you need to do a lot better if someone's watching this. The background tool is useless. I said it. Just use photos. Next up, your logos. This is where all of your logos are. And then apps. And that is it. That is everything that Canva currently has in terms of toolbars in um, the top toolbar and the left rail here. There's a lot of other really funky apps and such. Uh, I'll use this next time. There's other things that you can connect. That I don't know the names of these things. Bitmoji, character design, you can draw things, you can make QR codes, there's all kind of stuff that you can do, but this was the Canva basics. So hopefully if something's moved for you, you now know where it is, you know what all of these items are, you know where all of the sharing items are. Um, please comment if you've got questions. This is, I create the series for you guys, so if you've got questions, let me know. Um, next week, I've got a lot more tools and tips that I'm going to be sharing in Canva Tip Weekly, so be sure to follow along. And of course, I share free templates every now and again. All right, guys, hopefully this helps you navigate Canva so much better. And maybe next year we'll see where Canva ends up and I can compare the two videos. <laughs> Have a good one.